Arr. Welcome aboard my ship, I'm Captain Solomon, and today we are playing WWE 2K19 on the PlayStation 4. I just bought it, it was on sale for 67% off. Decided to buy the one with all the bells and whistles and fancy schmancy extra stuff, the deluxe edition. I uh, only spent like 30 bucks on it, so not too bad of a deal, in my opinion. Uh, it's the day after WrestleMania, so of course I'm going to play some wrestling. Uh... So, I figured that since, you know, I heard that it was okay, and it's got, like, voice clips and everything, uh, we're gonna go into the My Career mode with, uh, my own custom superstar here, and we're just gonna play through it. So, uh, I don't got much else to say about that. Sorry that you guys don't get to listen to the bumpin' soundtrack I'm listening to that comes on this game, because, uh, copyright and stuff, so they block it, which, thank God they do it for me, I don't have to worry about getting my stuff claimed, which is good. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to get right into it, and, uh, yeah, I'll try not to talk too, too much during the, the story clips. Hey, big BCW show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo, I thought wrestlers had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? Good point. See? Good point. More <laughs> proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean, about the wrestler on the poster, who is, um, definitely not me. Come on. Let's go. I mean... Hope I'm... you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. I'm really well, maybe I'll see glad. you in the crowd Friday night. I mean, he's a fan. As a fan. Uh, definitely not from the ring. Because I'm not a wrestler. Like, I, like, I really... I really like that they added sound work and stuff to this. Like, that's a, that's a cool little shout, you know? But at the same time, um... Did you guys see, uh, th th where was that girl looking when she was talking to me? Because she, she, her, her eyes, she was way out there. <laughs> like, she was looking into space. I'm so glad that I drive this van here. That's pretty cool. It's a step up for me in real life. I'll be honest with you. Th that is a map. I live in this van. That's even better. This is true indie wrestling, guys. I'm an indie darling. You should respect me and treat me of the highest level. Let's go. I gotta be getting dressed in my ring gear, right? Oh, baby! Let's go with my Shao Kahn cape. Looking like I come straight out of Mortal Kombat into the wrestling world. Setting these dudes up with a fatality. Uh, that wrestling singlet, by the way, uh, I wear a wrestling singlet. I own one. Uh, it, once I go to train to be a wrestler, still on my bucket list, I've got my ring gear ready. Uh, also, yeah, uh, I threw this character together pretty quick. Uh, I just used their, you know, it's their default stuff. It's nothing special. But, uh, I'm excited for it. So, you know, it should be a good time. We'll see what happens. Um, look at this. Um... Also, uh, that's, I, I recognize the, both of those characters right there that they're showing. Uh, one's Baron Blade, I believe his name is. He, uh, he, he's a guy from one of the other story modes in, in the past games. And, uh, yeah, I was about to say, the other guy's Matt Bloom. That's, uh, that's Albert. Uh, I also know who that is. Um, so that's pretty Hey, cool. I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent, Cole Quinn. I'm guessing that guy in the background is him. So we could say, take a look at me too, or Cole's great. Well, I think I'm going to be... Much like I would in the backstage area. I'm sure the game doesn't really let you differentiate between backstage and character work. I mean, I hope it does, but it probably doesn't. So we might have to make some changes later, depending on what happens. But in all actuality, backstage, indie promotion, I'm in a match. I, I got a chance to hype up a friend. And I mean, I'm maybe even not in front of at least a co-worker. And be like, yeah, maybe they can get the rub and 
if they make it big, there, there's a saying, something about, um, I think it's rising tides bring all boats up. So yeah, like, Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're rustling coal, so it'll be kind of hard not to. <laughs> good point. Yeah, yeah, good point. <laughs> oh well, my I should God. go get ready. This game it was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. I'm wearing that hat that I'm wearing in game right now, pretty much. Uh, it's actually a uh, give a product shout here. It's a Titanfall 2 hat, but I didn't want to type that out on that little hat, so it's just hey, man, good to see. That, 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 slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. Man, wow, that guy's kind of a dick. Clearly, I'm the face here. All right, so we're gonna go to match. I mean, it gave me the option to talk to him again, but I, I, yeah, don't care enough. So yeah, looks like we're getting into our first match here in BCW, which is a fledgling local indie promotion. Its promoter has connections to WWE, but it has never amounted to much. Uh, Mr. CQ, who is my opponent tonight, is BCW's hottest star. He's a speedy cruiserweight who has strong fundamentals. While well-known locally, he's yet to break through into the WWE. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is Mike Solomon versus Colin Quinn, Mr. CQ. And let's see if Solomon can... Oh, with that stiff right shot. He is a striker, ladies and gentlemen. That is what he is known for. And those stomps are exactly why. Now, early going in a story mode like this, these matches will probably be slow and steady. Oh, my sadly. God. Oh, we got color commentary here, too. But what's Solomon doing? That brutal right hand. Solomon pulling no punches, literally, as he shakes off that hand. That had to have stinged at least a little bit. But what's he got in the grapple tank? A quick snap suplex. This is the most exciting thing to take place at this gym since last week's pep round. Random guy that booed. I hope he was booing Baron Blade and not Solomon. Because Solomon, oh, with that stiff shot again. Oh, furious, furious punches going all day, every day, twice on Sunday. This is what BCW is all about. Oh, and the foot choke doesn't care that he's a, uh, the face in this match. He uh, is, uh, as we all know, he's in the indie scene. So clearly, that stuff, old oh, does not capitalize off that Irish whip, but that's okay, he's back with that snap suplex. He seems to To quote like my old boss, Vince chain. McMahon, what a maneuver. Oh, that was a very good Vince uh, impersonation. All right, now he's working the leg. Oh, just brutal punches to the knee. Uh, I, I want you guys to know, by the way, the reason I'm kind of selling this like I do, I don't know my moveset. I know, like, my signature and finisher, but, uh... There's I so much at stake really in this match. Let's just say you never know who's on. watching I mean, at a BCW I mean, show. Striker class. That's about it. Oh, flipped him inside out and follows it up with the punch. That is an interesting, uh, <laughs> maneuver there. Oh, that basement drop kick. Solomon, go if I can have your attention in? for a second, whoever has a red pickup truck with a license plate, oh, kick out OCS 732, a lot more you're blocking the school nurse's car, and she'd like to go home now. To the back. He means business, ladies and gentlemen. It's clear that even though they've come to check out... Oh, no, I'm bad at this. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, even though they've come to check out Mr. CQ, I think that's Quinn. against the school's Solomon, code of conduct. The captain is trying to prove himself here. And now, finally, it seems that CQ is going to turn the match around, but no, Solomon right back to it with Luthes Press. He doesn't sell those punches. Like, like, he doesn't pull those punches out of there, you know. He's, he's forcing you to take them. And not Somebody even a keep him. the principal because these two are breaking all the rules. All right. We got some, as you can see, I'm still so new to the game that I've still got some of these. So we're doing some working holds here. See what we can do. See if we make him tap out early. I was looking at the wrong side of the screen and botched that, but that's oh, um, hard jawbreaker there. Quinn's gonna have to do something more. They say he's a cruiserweight, but I don't think he's doing much. Solomon 
He's taking out the leg, and he turns it inside Mr. out. This is showing why he has attracted interest from promotions all around the world, including WWE. Enjoy him while you can, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Solomon's gonna try to end it here. What's he got in the tank? What's he got? Oh, oh, the blackout strikes. Oh, and he busted him wide open. Let's check the replay on this one. That knee, that vicious knee. One more time. Oh, so, so brutal. Busted this is what BCW is all about. This no fancy one, stage, no flashy two, no one wanted to for way no. too long. Well, no. except for me. Solomon that, swears it's he all had three. All the time, and these guys are two of the best. Match continues, ladies and gentlemen. This is a uh, fine showing in this high school gymnasium. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. Oh, these look at these strikes again. He's bringing it again. The cafeteria thing. This is just a brutal show from Solomon. Uh, oh, he's throwing him out. But he's gonna bring him back in. There you go with a nice flip. What's Solomon doing? What's Solomon doing? These you don't two belong have up there. Oh, all yeah. But I hope they don't, shot. because per the school the principal, here. we have over? a strict 11 One, p.m. curfew. Two, no. Oh. Get that flip over cutter type variation from a seated position. And another snap suplex. These two really have a long that history together in oh, PCW. Like tire himself if out you want to check out any of their better. other matches, there's and DVDs for sale at our merch table. All proceeds go to charity. Just kidding. Just they go to me. Well, it's expensive to run these brutally. indie shows. Case in point, he is working that leg. If you're wondering where Mr. CQ's opponent that got all these sweet moves, you can thank me after the show because I trained it. Now goes for a pin. Is this it? One, two. Still not in. There is no quit in cold win. Solomon is focusing. These two are going to bring the house down to them which is something they've literally done before when they once had a match in an old abandoned house. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, as Captain Solomon, did not even know that I have brought a house down, per apparently what Baron Blade has just said. Another pin here. Some is this will over? be able to afford play-by-play -play announcers. Until then, what does Solomon have to do me, Baron Blade. to put down Cole Quinn? Because nothing and I mean nothing seems to be working. What Solomon got planned, he works him around. Oh, it's just another leg strike. He seems to be all over the place with his focuses I here. think I heard a bone break. Somebody called a school nurse. He pulls him up to his feet. Stiff shots, a boot, another overhand, another punch. What's he got going on here, boys? Oh, he's, he's hurt himself. Oh, and he takes a slip, so it's already fires right back. Tonight's attendance is... Oh, never mind. Just, Just enjoy the match, oh, everyone. Again. Tired out. He's running out of energy here, boys. Oh, again, though. An uppercut. An uppercut. It's got to be over. It's got to be it. If these two One, keep it up, they're two, going straight to the prison. Three. Solomon is your winner. I'm sorry that they came to check out Mr. CQ, but it's clear that there's only one breakthrough superstar in this match, and it is the captain, Mike Solomon. Watching a little bit of a replay here. Was, uh, I believe that was the final combo. Oh, no, no, that was the earlier. That was where we thought he had it when he hit him with the, uh, the, the blackout combo strikes. Uh, none of these finishers have names yet because these will not be the permanent finishers, by the way. It's just kind of what they give me access to at the beginning of this mode, but that's okay. We work up. We earn our place in the industry. And let's get out of these replays here. It's after a grueling match. Solomon standing tall to this crowd of probably about a hundred if even that I would I might be being generous it's a high school gym ladies and gentlemen but we've picked up the win here tonight uh, I'm pretty sure that is literally uh, <laughs> I'm gonna change that I don't like it I'm pretty sure that's just Ryback's feed me more I, I want it gone I picked the wrong thing
All right, guys, let's continue out of this. That's okay. Room to develop our character. What a grueling first match. But that's okay, guys. That's what you're here for. It's not true. You guys probably were finally tricked into believing that wrestling and gaming can be this a good combo on my channel. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come. I'm going to get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. <laughs> well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waste measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see it. Is this some I kind of it. joke? Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. <laughs> well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right, though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? See, I... I think it's the other way around. <laughs> I did reference that. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. I'm clearly part of the writing team. That's, all, that's what it is, folks. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! What a sick handshake, guys. Wow. All right, well, we're going to cut this here for this first video. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed it, Leave a like on the video if you didn't enjoy it. That's fine. Hit the dislike because all feedback is good feedback for me. So I know what people are wanting to view. Also, leave a comment down below. What should I name my finishers? What kind of finishers do you see a striker, brawler, heavy set kind of guy like me wanting to have? What do you think I should do with that? And, uh, you know, what else What else do you guys want to see on the channel? Let me know. Uh, anyways, uh, I've been Captain Solomon. Y'all been aboard me ship. Now, walk the plank. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.